Hey everybody, it's Heather Wayman, director at Belly Dance Geek, and welcome to another episode of the Tiny Belly Dance Mashup. This one is a little bit more on the technical side, uh, but I think it'll be helpful. And I have been puttering around on the Facebook groups, and I saw a question today, or a, a request, I guess, for someone to put up a tutorial for how to make a student experience better on an online class. Um, and I, I got on and started fiddling around with some of the equipment that I have today, and I figured out a way to do this. So as a student, from a participant perspective, with an online class, like in Zoom, for instance, um, you can use your iPad, your iPhone, or your Android, whatever device you've got, a laptop computer, and you can join a meeting and connect it to using an HDMI cord to your smart TV so you can have this great big screen, okay? And the way that you do that, uh, for Apple devices, things with a lightning connector, you need this little device called a digital audio AV adapter. This is an Apple product and there are plenty of uh, non-Apple products that do the same thing. This one has a lightning connector at one end, and on the other end, it's got an HDMI cable. <laughs> it's backwards. And uh, this little guy right here is, it's backwards. This little guy right here is a lightning charging port. So you can actually hook this into your phone or your iPad and charge at the same time and have your HDMI connecting from your device to your TV. Um, now, when you do that, you essentially disable your microphone, so you won't be able to hear sound coming out of your iPad, uh, and you won't be able to speak uh, into your iPad either. Um, so you would have to use... Um, uh, there's two ways to get around this. One is a Bluetooth headset slash mic. These are fabulous. This one is just a little Plantronics backbeat fit and I tested this out and it worked beautifully. Um, it's got a microphone on it so I can hook this up, have the Bluetooth turned on on my iPad or my phone and I can hear the music coming from the host or the instructor coming through my headset and my uh, voice actually got on the sample recording that I made um, which would have been on the host side, okay? So again, this is all coming from a student perspective. This is not teaching. Um, uh, this is as a student. Uh, if you don't have a Bluetooth mic and headset, you can use a Bluetooth speaker. If you... Um, okay, so this is just a tiny bit more... Uh, not complicated, but just an extra step. So you still use your adapter to plug in to your device and hook into your TV with your HDMI. And then you use a, uh, a dual end 3.5 millimeter um, stereo cable, an auxiliary cable with, with two ends, same thing. And you hook into the headphone jack of your iPad or iPhone and then also into the headphone jack of your, um, the auxiliary in of your speaker. And that way you can hear the music that the teacher is playing, but you the downside is is that your remote or your uh, mic is not operable. So you will have to use the chat if you want to um, um, get your point across in a, that kind of an environment. You can also do the same thing with a laptop computer. Just join the Zoom meeting um, and uh, a lot of laptops have an HDMI connection port on them, so you can just go directly from your laptop into the TV. Or um, if you don't have an HDMI um, port on your laptop, there are hubs, USB hubs, that come in either regular USB, I think that's USB-A, and also USB-C connectors that you can plug into your laptop and they'll have a lot of times they'll have an HDMI port on them that you can go directly from the laptop and into the uh, the TV also so those are um, 
some really great ways to take an online class and not have to have such a small screen and you can hook it right up to your smart TV. Um, I did look up and see if I could get the Zoom app on my Samsung television and there was no way to do it. I couldn't couldn't get that. And I also went to the internet in the sources just to see if I could use my meeting ID to get on from a web browser. And that is not supported either. So unfortunately, um, that's not possible, but these other ways are possible. So I will put um, links to these little gadgets in the, um, in the notes at the bottom of the video. And if you have any questions, just let me know at info at bellydancegeek.com. And uh, don't forget to check out, if you're a teacher, don't forget to check out bellydancegeek.com slash awesome dash audio if you are looking for a way to get your mic and your music to meld together and uh, have a, a great audio experience in your classes, in your online classes. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this helps and happy, happy, happy dancing.